Hello, my name is Alicia and I'm a wig education specialist at the Food Bank of Delaware. Today I will be making easy banana pancakes. These pancakes are amazing because they technically only require two ingredients, one egg and one banana per batch. These two ingredients are more likely to be in your kitchen on a regular basis than pancake mix. They are also both wig eligible products. While you cannot purchase frozen produce with wig benefits, you can purchase fresh fruit, rinse it, and freeze it for future use. Bananas are always an inexpensive, nutritious food that can help stretch your dollars and meals. They are also a good source of potassium and fiber, two nutrients that are associated with lower blood pressure and thus lower risk for heart disease. In addition to pancakes, bananas can replace eggs and oil in many baking recipes. They can also be peeled and frozen for thick smoothies. In addition to the banana and egg, we will be adding a packet of plain oatmeal and blueberries, two other WIC approved products. If you have a large container, instead of individual packets, you can use one fourth cup of oat. Oatmeal is a great way to thicken the pancakes and stretch the batter, and a great way to add fiber and thiamine. Thickening the pancakes also makes them easier to flip. If you can add more fruit, why not? Blueberries are another wick eligible food that can add exciting flavor to pancakes. Blueberries are a good source of antioxidants and a common USDA product distributed by local food banks. Now we will move on to starting our pancakes. For this recipe, you will need a frying pan or electric griddle, two small bowls, a fork, a measuring spoon, a scoop for pouring, and a spatula for flipping. You should also have a serving platter or dish nearby, along with cooking spray or oil. The pancakes will require the following ingredients. One large banana, which we will mash, one packet of plain oatmeal, or one fourth cup of plain oats, one egg, one fourth cup of fresh rinsed blueberries, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. First, peel a banana and mash it in the bowl with a fork. Next, crack an egg into a bowl and then add it to the banana. Pour in the oatmeal. And mix together as well. Next, grease a frying pan and set the stove on low heat or lightly grease your electric griddle, spray with cooking spray, and plug it in. Portion the batter into four to six pancakes, each about one and a half inches wide. In addition to oatmeal, keeping the pancakes small will make them easier to flip. When the tops of the pancakes begin to bubble and the edges start to stiffen, begin to flip the pancakes. Once you flip the pancakes, the other side will cook within seconds. Remove from the heat and bring them to a clean serving dish. watching this video. We hope you enjoyed making this recipe which can include help from your kids and allow them to consume some fruit early in the day. See you next time!